Wow. <laughs> you guys. You guys trust us a lot. Yeah. And hello, listener. And welcome back to This, That, and Chit Chat. A podcast? That's strictly entertaining. Oh my gosh, guys. Nailed it. If there's one thing me and DJ know how to do, it's, it's our repeat intro. the same line yeah. every time. Yeah. And to switch lines off back sure. and forth. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we're good at that. DJ, how was your Thanksgiving? Dude, Thanksgiving was great. We just chilled. Yeah. Uh, it was, which was great. It was a lot. Of chilling. Okay. Meaning by Sunday when we came home, I was like, I need to do something. Yes. Like we walked in the door to our house and I immediately went up to the attic to get our Christmas decorations. <laughs> You're like, I need to have a project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I feel the same way because if the listeners remember, my mother got hip surgery two days before Thanksgiving. Sure. So our like lazy period started on Tuesday. Correct. So many movies. And Ooh, like yeah. love it. Yeah. But... On Friday or Saturday, we were all like, we're going to lose our mind. Yeah. But we couldn't leave. Sure. You know. And who's going Black Friday shopping in person? I've, I've, Not me. No. Why would you? I mean, I probably could if I had more, if I have something I was looking for, but like clothes? Yeah. It's not a big enough deal. Uh, well, and is there any deal that they have on in stores that's not online? I feel like no. And now is there any deal that they have on Black Friday that they're not going to have yet again before Christmas? No. And also like Black Friday is now like the entire week of Thanksgiving. And it's also 30% off. It, it, needs it be, used to be more. It needs to be 50 and above. Mm, for Like mm. that's just a normal sale. Right. Right. It gets me heated. Yeah. I will be but, honest. but the nice thing about Black Friday is like, you know, it's coming. Yes. Right? You can plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which everyone around me did. Yeah. Lauren has bought most of my presents. Her mom did all of our shopping. Oh, that's smart. I don't buy any presents on Black Friday ever. Same. I'm not prepared. Mm -mm. I don't know what I'm I, getting people yet. I should know yeah. because it's the same day every sure. year. Sure. No. Not happening. No. No. Um, the other thing that I uh, was going to say, uh, I feel like my stomach has tripled in size. Oh, wow. <laughs> Today, I had my normal food, so, uh -huh. you know, a smoothie and a salad. Yeah. And then at about 2.30, 3 o'clock... It was like I hadn't eaten anything all day. <laughs> uh -huh, I was valid. ravenously hungry. Still am. Okay. Because, you know, I'm trying to shrink my stomachs back down. Yeah. yeah. Uh anyway, yeah. I'm going to I'm going to come up with a reason for that for you. Hibernation. Hibernation. As a mammal, your body is preparing for winter, <laughs> and that is why you are hungry. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A fight against it. Yeah. <laughs> you are stronger than nature. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But I get it. Because sometimes at like three, again, I'm starving yeah. and I'm like, no, I have had both meals today. Yeah. And like real meals with protein. Right. Right. Yeah. My salad had protein in it. Mm. it had some meat in it. Yeah. Yeah. And some cheese and some nuts. <laughs> well, I mean, it was a salad. It, yeah. That yeah. sounds like quite the salad. It was good. Lauren's been on a really good salad kick. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Your wife does like vegetables. She loves She vegetables. loves a vegetable. <laughs> And DJ's not inclined no. to seek vegetables out. No, though. And that's why marriage is good, ladies marriage, and gentlemen. Guys, get married. Uh, no, but for real. Uh, I think I announced on here, like on our second episode, that I was pre-diabetic. Yes. Still am. Thanks for everyone's concerns. <laughs> Glad no one has checked in, jerks. <laughs> but anyway, we went back to the doctor. Still pre-diabetic, but slightly better. So okay. My number's so slightly improved. Pre-pre-diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway it was time to kick into gear so yeah, now salad. i'm really grateful that i have a wife that uh only eats vegetables yeah 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 <laughs> way to go lauren <laughs> shout out to lauren um okay uh one other thing i watched uh that christmas movie hard love hard love hard yeah We've we watched about that this, together right, right? I think we at least the one time we've watched it together. So good. It's an underrated one. It's so good. It is a good one. Yeah. It's like, and Lauren was watching it with me. She'd not seen it. And okay. she's like, he's so funny. He is funny. She was like, I laughed out loud. At some I don't his, remember his name, but he's also either. in a. Isn't it Lee? Doesn't L L I or Y I? Something like that. His last I don't name. Know. He's I don't in know. Crazy Rich Asians. Yeah. He's yeah, funny. He's and good. she's fine. Yeah. But uh, great movie. Yeah. 
Yeah. Follows the tropes, but does it well. It, yeah. In kind of in a new way. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Um, don't know if it will be right up your alley, but it's a wholesome Christmas thing on Netflix. Dash and Lily. Dash and Lily? Yes. Okay. So it's based off a book. Okay. Two teenagers falling in love in Christmas. Oh. Okay. Me and my roommates watch it. Sure. Binge it in one day. <laughs> sure. Oh, so it's not a movie. It's a series. Yes. There's okay. eight 20 minute episodes. Okay. Cool. We do it every year. Sure. It's worth it. Okay. I don't know if you'd enjoy it by yourself. Okay. Watch well, it I'll watch it with Lauren. Yeah. We're like, I mean, she's really good about, I always get to like Christmas and I'm like, I haven't listened to any Christmas yeah. or watched any Christmas shows, yeah. but she's really good at it. So I, I feel we're not talking really about, well, we are talking about holidays, but kind of, <laughs> <laughs> I can't do more than about two and a half weeks of Christmas music. Oh, really? Yeah. I get sick of it. Oh, but I almost only listen to it with other people. Like yeah. if my roommates have it on, yeah. that's fine. Or in the car. Sure. And that's like two weeks. Yeah, I'm yeah. never like at my desk working. Like, Let's see, put and it I'm on. like stoked that this year we have like an extra week because yeah. Thanksgiving was so early. That's true. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty nice. Okay, perfect. Before we get into our topic, should we do some rants, rants, rants and, and random questions? questions? <laughs> hey, we haven't done that intro in a while. We haven't. Yeah, we should. Um, you want to start? Yeah. So I was racking my brain for a rant that didn't feel aggressive. Oh. Couldn't. Oh. <laughs> I guess life is going really well, so the only thing that's bothering me... <laughs> is big. Is... It, yeah. But let me tell you, if you're listening to this podcast, it's not about you. Mm. Okay? But people... <laughs> It's like such an angry rant, and I don't mean it to be. People who pop out of nowhere asking for stuff. Mm, okay? Yeah. If we've not chatted in a bit, yeah. if you've kind of been leaving me high and dry, sure. and you pop up being like, hey, I need you to figure this out for me, or like, yeah. can you do this? Yeah. No. No. I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as a people pleaser, sure. sometimes it's hard for me. Yeah. So I'll do like the bare minimum to be like, okay, I did my attempt. Yeah. And then I'm going to bail. Yeah. But that's it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good. It makes absolute no sense so, to anyone here. So be a good friend. Yeah. And only well, don't ask, ask for oh, stuff. No, here's what it is. Only ask people uh, for stuff that you're friends with and yeah. you talk to. And that you're willing to give back to. Yeah. 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 That's it. Great rant. <laughs> Thanks. I agree. Here's mine. Mm -hmm. Fast passes. At, at Anywhere. Yeah. They're everywhere now. We were just at Disney and, and Universal, yeah. so that's why it's on my mind. But like any amusement park you go to. Uh-huh. People can pay to skip the line. Yes. And it is the most frustrating thing it is frustrating. on earth. Because it's also not like the rides are better or that there's more of them. Yeah. Or anything like Nothing that. Nothing else has changed. No. No. There's just that rich people can get a headline. <laughs> yes. And I hate the rich. <laughs> <laughs> was this your first Disney experience? Uh, in a long time. The yeah. last time I went, I was like 10 or 11. So there you was a phase at Disney. Yeah. Where you had to like put in work to get your fast right. pass and, and you they, could only have one at a time yeah and it was a timed entry and it still was a different line but blah 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 but everyone could get one everyone could get one which i think it was a cool system yes. so it's like but not everybody did because you did have to put in work yes yeah yeah no i think that's the yeah that's the paying the for it. it is is a lot yeah yeah i agree um yeah, that's, that's my a good rant. rant. Yeah, yeah. I agree and with it's that. everywhere now. It's not just at Disney. Like I was at uh, my hometown amusement park a while back yeah. and they had it. And it's at uh Bush Gardens yeah. and it's everywhere. It's on four ninety five. Yeah. But oh <laughs> <laughs> good And one. guess what? Good one. I'd be paying those tolls yeah, all yeah, the yeah. time. Yeah. My rec. Christmas lights. Mm, great Basic. Rec. Everyone loves them, but they just change the vibe. They do. Even driving here tonight because it gets dark so dang early. Oh my gosh. Like literally I think the sun went down at like 4.30. Yeah. Yeah. It's bleak. Yeah. But having people put their Christmas lights make it a little bit better. I agree. And we have decked out our house for Christmas. You put lights up? We, not outside. Okay. But inside our whole living room is covered <sighs> in lights. And then we, you know how much Christmas decor we uh, get. Yeah. And then our front room also has Christmas lights on top of the bookcases and around the window. Cute. So we don't turn on any lights anymore. Oh, we just fun. live by yeah, the Christmas live light. Live Christmas. So great, guys. Very cute. Mm -hmm. uh, I, my rec. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's my rec. <laughs> <laughs> Disney. 
Guys, wow. I've hated on Disney well, for a long time. I need someone who has more yeah. patience to go back to the episode where yeah. DJ ranted about Disney. Yeah, I've go back. I have hated on Disney for yeah. a long time. And and I still will say It's not the best. It doesn't have a lot of roller coasters. No. And that is frustrating. Yes. And granted, I was at Epcot. And Epcot is, oh, wow. you know, a what special a kind of... I mean, here's the thing. Epcot yeah. is awesome. I've never been to Epcot. Dude, next time, go. And go okay. from like August to Thanksgiving because they have the Food and Wine Festival. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And there's just... So much food. Tons of food. Yeah. So that's why Epcot's awesome because okay. you go to like all these countries. You can yeah. just shop. You know, it's pretty. They Look have around. performances. Yeah. Anyway, but here's the thing I love loved about the Disney mm-hmm. experience. We went to Universal and Disney. Both are great. Universal, Universal is garbage. not nearly as clean. No. It is not. The workers are not nearly as happy to be there. No. Like, Disney has... The, the reason I think people love it and the reason that it is so great is mm-hmm. because it's just cultivated this, like... Everyone is happy to be there. Yeah. And they're like, I saw a, a woman who worked at like one of the stalls see someone litter and go pick it up. Yeah. Like, that's not her job. No. But like, everyone there is trying to make it the happiest place on earth. Yep. And it, it, it shows. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was, it was great. Like I say, I still like, you know, if you're like, hey, we can go to Disney or Six Flags, I'd choose Six Flags. But, yeah. you know, if we're like, hey, we're going to Disney, I'm, I'm going to be excited now. You know. I love the growth. Yeah, thank the you. The personal character development. <laughs> I will say, Mom, this is what you paid for my degree for. The difference is an amusement park versus a theme park. Sure. Disney is an amuse no a theme park a theme park right. And so it's just what you're looking for. Right. If you need the whole fam to go, it's probably better to go to a theme park because yep. there's stuff for everyone. Yep. But yeah, everyone's like, well, there's not at roller coasters, which I get. And as a roller coaster lover, I understand absolutely that that's frustrating, but. Yeah. But you're right. The whole immersive experience it's, and it's is not amazing. even right. Like it's not even about like I don't know. Like people talk about like oh you're you know you're living your childhood dreams with the characters no. and whatever. It's not about that. It's no. about like they they take it to the nth degree. Yeah, it's just like wonderful. Well, and they have all of those things where things you're not supposed to notice are painted a specific shade of blue and green because they like blend in oh cool and so they like try to make their trash cans not as oh, noticeable. Yeah. they make sure that there's no trash around there's they, no trash yeah everyone's everything polite. and everything is like up to date like yes. there's no rust there's no chipping nope. paint their bathrooms are clean yeah you go to a universal or six flags and you pay the price but, yeah yeah like i even saw the like people who the, like people in the white uniforms so, like are are sweeping yeah. up like that's their job like saying hi to people yeah. right like they're even friendly. Yeah. Dude, if you were at Bush Gardens and you, <laughs> no. you tried to talk to the trash collector, they'd be like, Leave me alone. Yeah. Like, yeah. Why don't are you do doing? this. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And they'd probably walk past the trash and not clean it up. Yes, they absolutely would. So. I definitely have seen that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's a great wreck, and I love that. Thank you. <laughs> Should we do a pod trip to Disney, everyone? Yes. You all have to pay your own way. <laughs> pod meetup in pod Disney? Pod meetup. Yeah, I think yeah, that'd yeah. be great. I love that. Okay. <laughs> Random question. Okay. Would you be rather have to speak everything you say, like anything you want to say via rap, mm. or would you rather be the best mime of all time? Oh, that's genuinely an amazing question. Thank because you. It, to be the best mime of all time would be pretty cool. Because if you're the best mime, then everyone understands what you're saying anyway. Yeah, plus like... Plus fame. You'd look like cool. <laughs> M- meaning, like you wouldn't be one of those mimes who just looks like... You know, yeah. they're clearly not touching a wall. You'd be one of those. Yeah. It's like, is there actually an invisible wall? Is there wall a there? glass wall yeah. <laughs> yeah. around him? Yeah. Um, but I do think speak and rap because that's also pretty cool. It is. But how embarrassing that you have to go to talk at church and you're up there rapping. <laughs> Especially, hey, I'm going to be honest, looking like you and I. Mm, mm-hmm. mm, because no matter mm, how good at rapping you are, people are going to be like, that's embarrassing. <laughs> mm, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, so maybe you've convinced me. Mm. <laughs> the reason I asked the question is because I didn't know the answer. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know. That's that's really good. Thanks. I, you might have convinced me mime just because I'm very white. <laughs> yeah. But uh, <sighs> Cause it's a little yeah. embarrassing when you by accident rhyme something that you're saying. Uh huh. Like when you're just talking to someone and you rhyme at the end, you're like, didn't mean to do that or people are like you just rhymed and you're like we didn't need to acknowledge it (laughs) let that be 
<laughs> no one needed to bring that yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. So to do it on purpose. Right, right. No, yeah, I think mine, because that's also just cool, but can, I can't ever speak again. No. No, I. it's got to be rap. I think it it's does gotta have to be rap. rap. It'd be cool to be a great mime. Be really cool. Yeah. But no, it's got to be I'm going to be rap. honest. Neither of you will help you. Neither will help you make a friend. I don't think. Mm. I think you'd be done making friends. Yeah. No one's yeah. going to be like, you know that cool mime? <laughs> I mean, or I'd have to change my, like, I'd have to become like an M&M. Like, I'd have to look hard. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. So here's my random question. Yeah. Would you rather... Mm-hmm. So in both of these scenarios, so it's, you're trading to never have to shave your legs again. Okay. But the trade-off is either you shave your head or you never cut your hair again. Oh, wow. Right? What if I rather just keep shaving my legs? No, that's not (laughs) an option. option. (laughs) I was like, it's really not that bad. Um can i wear a wig um no (laughs) then i guess i have to be one of those weird horse girls (laughs) i could i couldn't go without my hair yeah i love my hair you have great hair oh my gosh thanks (laughs) (laughs) i spend a lot of money on it (laughs) yeah i would have to just keep growing it out but then i oh wow yeah that's rough Mm. Mm mm-hmm both of us have given each other very difficult scenarios yeah let us know in the comments yeah. which, would, which you would you rather yeah okay <laughs> dj just took his mic away yeah, and made me was, nervous i'm just waiting okay just waiting for Sh- my prompt should we get into our, our topic today <laughs> we should okay guys we, we asked and you delivered <laughs> you did way to go <laughs> we you know you often go to experts on things sure and some of you obviously don't have experts in your life because you come to me and DJ. Yeah. <laughs> or you just recognize us for what we are, which is experts in everything. Yeah. Which we appreciate. Yeah. Um, this episode, we're going to do advice, but a little bit more focused. Yeah, yeah. Focused advice. On the holidays. Holiday advice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, I will say, you guys are so great. When we asked for who you want to have as a guest, you guys answered. Nice. We have a lot of people who... Now, many suggest themselves. Sure. They suggested other people. Oh, I'm excited. And all of them are attainable. So thanks so much. I am very excited okay. to hear that list. But yeah. So I'm just going to start rattling off questions to DJ. Okay. <laughs> this one's not <laughs> advice related. Okay. Or, I mean, not holiday related. Okay, but just advice. But someone went to a Google form to ask this. No, so. we love that. <laughs> I have a big crush on my best friend's brother. And I want to say something, but how do I go about it? Especially because we are rarely alone. Wow. You guys. You guys trust us a lot. Yeah. Okay. You have a big crush on your best friend's brother. Yeah. How do you say something? Here's the thing. I think you just got to be bold. You just got to ask him out. Do you talk to the best friend first? Mm, No. Yes. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Why? I don't think you need to necessarily ask permission, but it would be weird to find out Mm. after it's happened. So you have to be like, hey, I'm going to ask out your brother. Or like, hey, I know this might be weird, but I have a crush on your brother, and I was thinking about asking him out. Mm. Mm. And then if she's like, no, well, you're like, well, I think I still might. I don't like, but... Yeah, that's the thing, though. What if they are like, ew, that's going to discourage you. But if you ask them out and they find out and they're not happy about it, isn't it worse that they didn't at least run it past you? So what? how's this? You ask them out in front of your friend. How about you ask (laughs) them on a double date? (laughs) You find a friend for your friend. And then you'd be like, I'll go with your brother. Question, how much are you guys interacting? Yeah, this is this is intense. Because, like, are you hanging out with your friend and her brother's just hanging around? Because if so, that's a pretty good sign that that's he likes you. That's a pretty good you. sign. Also, your friend shouldn't be that surprised. Yeah. If you guys are both single and she's having you all hang out together. Right. There's a likelihood that could happen. Yeah. If she doesn't want anyone to date her brother don't have the brother around yeah 
can we get some more backstory? <laughs> yeah, I would love more backstory. But I my my advice is be bold. I don't know what that means per okay. se. I think you brought up some good points. Yeah. I also would say, you know, if you're on the verge, mm-hmm. here maybe the thing to do is say, hey, can you, I want to go on a date with your brother. We should double. Okay. Like, maybe that's probably be the way like, to do it. No, I don't want to go on a date that my brother's on, but at least you've run it past them. Right. Then it's like, they're not going to say, ooh, gross, my brother. They're going to yeah. say, oh, I don't want to go on a date. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's the way to do it. Yeah. And send us a picture of the brother. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if it's worth the struggle. <laughs> Is he hot? <laughs> Is that from Nacho Libre? Uh, oh, yeah, I think. Is she hot? I or is that from one. Napoleon? It's from one of the two. Is she hot? I think it's I think it's Pedro asking if his girlfriend is hot and then he shows the picture. Oh, I think you're him. right. Yeah. Is okay. she hot? So that was the non holiday one, but thanks for trusting us. Yeah. Hopefully it goes well. Yeah, yeah. Please. Give us an update. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any anytime we give <laughs> advice, we'd love to hear what happens. Um, we got this one twice. Gift ideas for parents. Oh, that's especially for a stepdad. <laughs> parents are the worst mm-hmm. to shop for yeah and neither dj nor i have a stepdad but i assume it's the same as a dad here's what i would say has worked really well for me mm-hmm. experiences amen yeah a hundred percent because i give my mom I, like growing up my dad was always like get her candles or or yeah. you know lotions or something and so even Fuzzy as, slippers. Like, as a young yeah. adult i'd do that and then i'd go to her house next christmas and it'd still be there unopened yeah uh so uh, but anytime I get them like tickets to something mm-hmm. or any sort of experience, they use it. Yeah. So I agree. I agree. And I think just straight up asking, like for my mom, especially I'm like, mm. Hey, what do you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And more often than not, she has something right that she wants that she's not wanting to buy for herself. Right. And so it's not as exciting because they're not surprised. Yeah. But it is something, cause that's the thing with parents. It's you want to get them something that they're going to actually appreciate and yeah. use. Yeah. Yeah, and here's the thing, too. I would say, like, especially if it's an experience, Mm -hmm. there's a lot more range, right? Like, I got my parents, uh, my parents had never been to stand-up. I got them tickets Mm. to a stand-up comedian, and they went, and they loved it, right? Like, I got them tickets to this uh, Planet Earth live thing, and they right? Like, something they'd never do, but, like, because it's an experience and it's free for them, they went, and it was cool. And on the same side, it's already paid for, so they feel an obligation to go. Right, right. So, yeah. Um, along with that, parents love sentimental things. Dude. Especially if you guys are like out of the house. Yeah. If you print out a family photo or yeah. you make a photo album or something like that, or an opportunity for you to spend time with them. So you bought tickets for all of you to do it together. Uh huh. Love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, another question that we have. If you need stocking stuffers or something though, wire cutter has some good options. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Interesting. Go ahead. Also, BuzzFeed shopping lists are the best. They have the link already there, guys. BuzzFeed. Um, (laughs) Is it bad to buy all the gifts for my daughter-in-law from Goodwill? Is it bad to buy all the gifts? Wait a second. Is This is... I've heard this before. Where have I heard this? Did you look on the Instagram? I don't think so. I think I've heard... Kelly, I don't want to out her if she's a. Uh, that's hysterical. No, that's fine. <laughs> Just don't buy him for your son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your son nice new things. Yeah. Your daughter-in-law. Yeah. I would say, will. what's your your take on used things for gifts? I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Okay. Um, but like, if you're getting everything new for your daughter, your son, yeah. and then only use stuff for your daughter-in-law. <laughs> that's where you're going to go wrong. But if like you're just using Goodwill as a supplement yeah, or like a refurbished thing as a supplement, yeah. right? Totally, totally fine. I would say it, it you shouldn't be able to tell that it's used. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like <laughs> yeah. clearly if there's no tags, you're like, okay, this is a used item, but like, uh, you know, yeah, be conscientious of that. Yeah. I mean, it, it needs to be a nice new used yeah. thing. Tips for traveling for the holidays. I guess. <laughs> Dude, just in general, here's I don't the thing. Know. I think you just got to embrace it. Yeah, it's just going to suck. It is. It is. 
but just embrace it. Be nice to the travel people because mm-hmm. they're working during it's the holidays and that sucks. Um, yeah, and then just embrace it. Be prepared to spend the night at the airport. And then, <laughs> then if that doesn't happen, yeah, how great. Do not have a layover in Chicago. That is great. Or Minneapolis. Yeah, just like yeah. think of weather. Mm-hmm. And if you have to do a layover, Texas, mm-hmm. Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Just think about it. Yeah, yeah. Because it's going to be miserable. Yeah, yeah. That's some great advice. Don't fly Frontier or Spirit. No, not not during. It's just any other time of year, go for it. But when you're worried about, you know, yeah. getting places and the holidays, and plus, like, if you're bringing presents or taking presents home, you yeah. don't want to worry about packing a bag no. on Spirit or Frontier. No. Yeah. Don't do it. No. So definitely. Okay. Is it worth it to make New Year's resolutions? I, yeah yeah i mean here's it like anytime you make goals it's worth it if you only make goals once a year that's probably not good but like <laughs> i make goals constantly but then new year's is like a fun time to make to try you know to, to like evaluate how i've done overall this like it's just a you know but yeah. i'm constantly like setting goals and resetting them and yeah but yeah absolutely you should be making goals as often as you can perfect yeah i agree with that even if it doesn't last no it's a good a good refresh yeah and yeah. like uh you're only a failure if you stop trying right yeah. so like even if it doesn't last and you come back next year and instead of setting the same goal you set well last year i only worked out for a month this year i want to work out for five weeks yeah right that's improvement that is so yeah we were talking the other day that me and my roommates that there's some study that you should start your goals around halloween so by that January, mm, you're already it's already in that a habit. habit. If you're not keeping them in January, I don't know what October is going to do, but it's worth a try. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, again, I don't mean to harsh on our listeners. Sure, great listeners. One friend you're thankful for. <laughs> hmm. That's not really advice. It's not. But um, Emily. Oh my gosh! Wow, <laughs> DJ. That's my answer. <laughs> Guys, we're funny. Yeah. This one's nice. If someone were to get each of you gifts, what are some uh, gift ideas that you'd like to draw pins for? <laughs> wow. Are people trying to get us presents? Uh, you can't go wrong with Lego for me. <laughs> That's DJ's answer. <laughs> uh, or anything Taco Bell related. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. I would say piggybacking off of DJ's previous answer, not his Lego one, experiences or events, especially if there's one that the person giving it to me will do with me. Oh, yeah. If you just, like, drop this in my lap, sometimes I'm like, yeah. I don't know. But, like, if you're like, hey, I want to do this with you, yeah. then I'm like, oh, my gosh, a built-in hangout. Uh, Unless just, I don't know you very well. <laughs> don't. <laughs> Word for the wise, Emily apparently doesn't <laughs> like popcorn. And she won't tell you if you get her something popcorn related. She'll just let it sit there for a year. <laughs> Guys, DJ was so thoughtful one year and gave me a whole popcorn themed yeah, gift. Yeah. Like five components. Yeah, yeah. It. Like a bowl to pop popcorn mm-hmm. in. Microwave. You can just microwave the kernels, some yeah. seasoning, some yeah. kernels. Some different types of kernels yeah. and salt. Mm-hmm. And I was so grateful because he thought of me on my birthday. Yeah. Yeah. And then this year on my birthday, he saw all of it on my shelf. And unopened he, he pulls me aside and he goes uh you haven't used my popcorn <laughs> and i had to tell him i don't eat popcorn and the look on his face <laughs> yeah betrayal uh, yeah so just word to the wise <laughs> so don't give me popcorn yeah. things um i think those are all the questions we got okay yeah i'm i'm happy with that yeah i think that's great we also uh someone had asked in when i asked a couple weeks ago what they want us to talk about sure. which i think is pertinent and we kind of did it last week, but a ranking of our favorite holidays. Yeah, yeah. What's your top five? Yeah. Um, oh, I should say my sister texted me mm-hmm. and said she thinks your birthday is a holiday, too. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to celebrate my birthday with Mikkel. That would be such a treat. Um, okay. So, I had time to think about this. I think uh, Christmas is number one. Mm-hmm. I think Halloween is number two. Mm-hmm. Um, Fourth of July is three. Okay. Thanksgiving is f- four. Okay. And then anything else can be five. <laughs> New Year's, but I haven't done New Year's well in a while. 
I don't know. Memorial Day is kind of fun. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Easter? Do you like Jesus? Oh, I do like Easter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Probably Easter's. Valentine's Day? Oh, now I like that. <laughs> yeah. Hated it for years, yeah. and here he is. Now it's fun. Okay. Um. Yeah, probably Easter's. Okay. Yeah. Good. Mm-hmm. What about you? I'm going to include my birthday, yeah. as Mikkel says it is. Of course. Uh, my birthday, Thanksgiving. Okay. Christmas. Yep. Memorial Day, Labor Day. Memorial Day. <laughs> Fourth of July, uh, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. Fourth of July is the best. It is, and it usually falls in a week that like then nobody works the rest of the week. Yeah. It's kind of easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. good times. Yeah. yeah. So uh, there it is. There it is. Thanks for your question. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for your advice, wants. Yeah. Yeah. Our next episode oh. is going to be a year in review. Oh yeah. We're going to talk about 2023 in general. Yeah. That would be fun. The season two of. Uh, this, that, and chit-chat. Yeah, and then kind of our goals and ideas for 2024. And we want your input. Yeah. What is your favorite moment from... We didn't do this last year, so let's just say the whole pod. Yeah. What are things that have made you laugh? Yeah. Made you cry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Changed your outlook on life? Have we made you cry? Oh, that would be wild. That would be crazy. That would You would have had to have... Like, it would have had to be like... A really bad day. <laughs> yeah, like a bad day, and it's specifically like a topic we're talking about. Yeah. Like... Bigfoot killed your family, and we do an episode on Bigfoot. And I was like, just going to be like, you're probably like a Bigfoot apologist, <laughs> and you get mad at DJ for not believing in him. <laughs> yeah. Well, we love you guys. Mm-hmm, we do. Hope you have a wonderful holiday season. Please have a wonderful holiday. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, buy your t-shirts, buy your stickers, buy everything. Oh, yeah. And next week, we will be announcing 2024, the year of the... Who knows? Okay. (laughs) Bye, guys. Love you.